This is Geometry Dash and this is Scratch. And today I'll be recreating Geometry Dash using Scratch. But there's only one small issue. I'm not very good at using Scratch, but that won't stop me from making a masterpiece. Before the video starts, I'd just like to let you know that only 3.2% of viewers are subscribed. So please consider subscribing because it helps me out a lot. And with that out of the way, let's go on with the video. First of all, I need to make a character that the player can control. So I hopped into the sprite editor and began making an icon. So, this is what I made. I know, I know, I'm a great artist. I think I should name him Fred. <laughs> after that, I added a background. Then after that, I started making a spike. And this is the finished spike. Then I started coding the spike. Then I tested out the game. And the spike worked. Only problem is, the cube just kind of sits there. So now, I need to code the jumping. Now the cube can jump over the spike. I did change this later to make it more smooth, but you'll have to watch till the end to see that. Then I began working on making the spike kill you. Then I quickly made a death screen, mainly because I don't know how to make like, the game restart. You are dead! So after I made the death screen, I coded it so that it appears when you die. And as you can see, the death screen works. After that, I made the spike preset after it passes the clear. Now the spike resets after it passes a player. I felt like the game was kind of boring. I mean, look at it. So I made a double spike, then I coded the double spike to appear after the single spike. And with that, the game was finished. I went ahead and published it so you guys can try it out. I don't recommend to do it because it's pretty bad. But if you want to, give it a try. It's the link is in the description. Just a quick note, if this video gets 10 likes, I'll make a part 2. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.